The eminence and shadow does have is. Goddamn, he's in the fiend split. Did you see that? Wait, what? <laughs> Why are he standing like that? You nasty. Sacrifice said, man, behind the cam director here with the first ever Strong Burly Reviews. The name of this one is This Anime is Terrible and I Can't Stop Watching. From the first screenshot, it looks like this is about Eminence and Shadows. I'm going to tell you right now, Eminence and Shadows is not terrible. It is fantastic, bro. It's like if Overlord and Konosuba had a power fantasy comedic fucking baby, man. It's really like they're in the back of the Ford right after prom, just mm, 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 mm. nine months later, chef's kiss. This beautiful, this beautiful Izakai was created. I'm telling you right now, bro. At first, I can understand why people were like, Eminence in Shadow is trash. I can understand it at first, but then once you really just kind of, I don't want to say shut your brain off, once you really kind of fine tune your brain to the brand of comedy and to like the, the, the tropes that they're going through and that they're presenting, it is peak Izakai. Easily a top three Izakai of all time by the end of its run. I feel like it will be. It's just so fresh. It brings so many new ideas, new waifus. It uses old ideas and tropes into its own story, interwoven and used in its own way. Fantastic stuff. So when I saw this random Stromboli, I was like, I feel like people have told me to watch this guy before. Can't remember. Then I saw Eminence video. I was like, nah, I gotta do it. I got to do it. I have to. Why? Cause it looks fire. So I've never seen a strong bully video. I've been recommending him. This is my first time watching him. Fingers crossed, you know, we like it and we can agree on some things or I'm ready to go to war against this reviewer. Reactor versus reviewer. Mano y mano. Well, not really mano y mano. Cause like, let's face it, he would crush me. My pettiness. But that's not the point. We're gonna jump to this. We're gonna see what he thinks about Eminence and why he thinks it's the trashiest show ever. I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of trash, but it's a good kind of trash. It's like if you're eating a steak and you drop a piece of steak on top of the garbage, it didn't touch nothing funny. You just pick it right off top. You eat it anyways, right? Like, <laughs> what's the harm? Who's gonna tell? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna jump into this. Comment down below if you've seen Stromboli before. Recommend, if you've seen Stromboli before, recommend one of his videos that you think I should do without a doubt next. Only one of them though. I, if I like this one, I'll probably do a couple more, but I wanna hear from y'all. Which one do y'all think is like, this is what made Stromboli who he is? Let's get started. History won't remember the shadow of eminence as a masterpiece, especially when you look at its competition this season. It doesn't have the prestige of Bleach, it doesn't have the talent behind Chainsaw Man, and it's definitely not going to have anyone in tears like Mob Psycho will. But what the eminence and shadow does have is... Goddamn, he's in the fucking mean split. Did you see that? Wait, what? <laughs> Why he stands like that? The Eminence and Shadow is about this dude who's obsessed with being an overpowered badass who looks completely average on the outside. He'll do anything to look like an NPC, nerf his own grades, look like an ass in public, even watch Bob's Burgers. Anything's on the table. Wow. Wait. Why Bob's Burgers catching a stray? He's I'm Batman. Batman. I'm Batman. See, he's Batman. Sid's got a huge problem though. Like as much it. as he trains, there's limits to how powerful humans can grow. You can beat people up, sure, but can you dodge bullets? What about a nuke? The only way to get stronger is with magic. More power. That means more yeah. power in English. The bus hits him, he wakes <laughs> up in another world as a baby, you already know. The fun happens past He is a Kai himself. Going on, which is quite soon. Sid's solitary goal is to troll the fuck out of the audience. There's this episode where Sid's kid sister is kidnapped in the dead of night, leaving Sid as the only person capable of saving her. Instead of panicking, Sid triples the fuck down on his role play. <laughs> If that's where the bitch is, I'm gonna do something most regrettable. <laughs> it 
works. He finds the guy who kidnapped his sister. He's still role playing, by the way. Yes. He murders the bad guy and goes back to pretending to be a bitch the very next day. <laughs> yeah, the story is dead set on moving. <laughs> I felt like farting that day. One time, a terrorist attack breaks out in their school. Everyone's freaking out. Sid has got to be off the K2 because this motherfucker starts Off the K2? Nah, bro. I know exactly how old Stromboli is because K2 was a popular, uh, it was a popular, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, alternative to Mary Joanna and every and what we learned like within like a year of K2 drop it was that it basically turned into a crack feed. Sometimes you get addicted and they make you fucking scratch and people are like having heart attacks over it. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That's good. Gotta be off the K2 because off the K2 smiling. It makes you psychotic this too. Is the perfect opportunity to fake his own death and look extremely feeble. Then he gets into the role play jammies and starts decapitating people role in secret. Play jammies. Excuse me. The yes. whole point of the show is that Sid makes random explanations for everything crazy going on in the world, and by sheer right. coincidence and you know, author interference, Flat it turns armor. out to be completely true. According yeah. to Sid, the world is actually run by the demon cult Diablo, who seeks to harness the power of his death to defeat the Diablo. The only sense of the Shadow Garden knows that he can defeat the cult. Shadow Garden. No, any of no. He's right. It's quite interesting to see how Sid's whims and made up nonsense actually leads to plot progression. There's a massive it's hilarious. Trail, a series of murders from people copying Shadow Garden, all sorts of stuff, mostly because Sid thinks stuff like that is dope. You never really know what's going to happen or how it's going to tie into the main story. You just know Facts. it's going to be pretty cool. The main dude is playing a game where he's the coolest guy in the world. Everyone else has no idea. He's just fucking around. They see him being a Sekai Batman and assume, oh, this guy's about it. Sekai he Batman. Is. Because look at this. While also being super self aware and ironic, you can laugh at what's going on screen. My and move number 22. It's cool because his actions do have consequences and he is overpowered. Side note. <laughs> Anyway, nah, I didn't like that. Brutal. I, I was remember, not I hated that. expecting people to be minced like garlic, and I definitely didn't expect it to actually look good because the production is spotty sometimes. On other occasions, there's serious detail. Mm, there's this agree moment to where disagree. Sid puts his stuff away, and the bag he's carrying rips off his shoulder with a metallic thud. I didn't catch it until my mm. second watch because by then I realized that bag is probably full of weights that he's constantly training with. They yep. don't mention that at all. There are but gorgeous she... landscape shots. The world is drawn like someone was. So far, the only place I'll disagree is I didn't view the show while it was running as having production issues. In my opinion, uh, everything always just looked good to me, but I grew up on 90s anime. So like my level of what is distort my level of what I consider badly animated is really distorted. Cause there's some things y'all will see I'm like this is terrible. And I'm like, what's wrong with this? And there's things you guys are like this is terrible. And I'm like, oh my fuck, this is terrible. <laughs> actually paid to care but i've detected some high guardian spicisms don't treat me like i don't I'm get stupid. that one this chair is made out of real life i looked it up and this anime is made by dick butt studios uh, you might know them from making nothing good ever i'm torn the eminence and shadow is really good at wielding tropes against you to catch your ass off yes Captain that's what i said in the intro monster. calm down and get the civilians to safety i'll hold it off but that's also mm, where I have dead. beef with the anime. One time, Sid goes out of his way to get rejected in the most scientifically cringe way possible. Mm -hmm. That scene is so far. Print this. She has some nice legs on her, though. This was not funny. Let me show you how the manga did it. P Princess Shalexia. Background character confession technique. Tremble visibly. Avert gaze nervously. At a tenth of a second, raise your right hand. Hold it there. The optimal gap is slightly distant, 72 inches. Uh, Discombobulate. He's so extra. Immediately drop to a 90 degree angle. Please go out with me. That's how you should have done it. Dick Butt Studios mm, might not be entirely. They should have. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I've heard multiple light novel manga readers explain this like 900 times over to the point where even YBR got the got the light novels and he's like, no, no, no. Usually these manga readers, they're spoiling. They're not really spitting. But on this one, y'all was fucking spitting and cooking. There is some moments that I will say objectively that I've seen the panels, like what he just showed, where yeah, the manga and light novel did it better. But I also understand you got 23 minutes and 40 seconds to put it into an episode. I think they did a 
half decent job, but I would have liked to heard the internal dialogue of him plotting his perfect uh, move. It doesn't take any, if you're anime only, I feel like it didn't take anything away from me because I'm an anime only. But then you go back and you read it slash, um, you read it slash see it in the light novel or the manga, I can see why you're like, well, they didn't animate this. It would have been way funnier if they did. Yeah, probably would have been way fucking funnier. But do we care as anime only? Nah, not really. On the light novel, not the manga. What I enjoyed and experienced will differ a bit from the anime, and I've heard that the manga exaggerates some of the scenes for comedic effect. Comments like this okay. say, manga is over-exaggerated. Light novel is the source. If you hate it, don't watch it, yada yada yada. Hey, that'll do, fucker. That'll do. In comedy, people aren't tall, they're I'm glad he said it. People don't just smell, they're putrid. You're supposed putrid. to over-exaggerate. Yes. Scene, straight out the manga. Yep. I do love hot springs. Hmm. You know, I'm surprised you're not staring. Mixed bathing is always a struggle. Ooh, the toesies you're are beautiful out. as I am. Someone's feeling confident. Hot springs are sacred places, you know. Besides, the sunrise is more beautiful anyway. And by the way, could you stop staring at my Excalibur? <laughs> you call that thing Excalibur? Now I remember I'm this scene. Confident. Don't. Don't. Judge a book by its cover. When the holy sword is drawn from its scabbard, its blade will be unleashed, sending you on a journey to the Garden of Chaos. Confirmed, he's a grower, not a shower. Why the fuck? Pretty goofy, maybe not hilarious, but I quite like the scene. Let's take away exaggeration. <laughs> Tyler. You're not looking at me. Mixed bathing is always hard when you're this pretty. Nah, I appreciate hot springs a lot. Anyway, I I'd rather stare at the sunset. By the yeah. way, can you not stare at my privates? Oh, my bad. Okay, bye. Yeah, bro. Something the SpongeBob was much funny steps. There. The anime the SpongeBob is still steps. dumb fun. I'm a little disappointed by how it's being adapted, but something really? is keeping me watching. I don't know hmm. if it's the stupid ass hijinks, the ridiculous main character, or the fact that the last two episodes were much better than the first two. Check it out. It's looking good so far. And oh, he thing, did this early. You know okay. shows are going to be way better. Why not watch those? That was the first Scamboli Reviews review. Reaction? Reaction. Um, I liked everything he said about Eminence. He echoed a lot of the same sentiments that I had and that I felt. Uh, I did disagree with him. I can't, I can't disagree with him with the fact when he says he doesn't think that the manga slash light novel is being adapted as well as it possibly can be. The reason why I can't even argue with him on that, I haven't read enough for the novel, light novel or manga to have an opinion. And that I can accept because I've only seen like one or two panels that YBR showed me and he's like, yeah, 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 no, this was better in the in the manga than it was in the show. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if it was better, but I see why people would say that. There's a little bit of extra detail that is left out, especially when it comes to Sid's inner my monologue. And I'm like, oh, I can appreciate that. Where he says sometimes there's like production and animated issues, I disagree. I feel like through the whole thing, Everything just looked good and cohesive. There was rarely a moment where I was like scratching my head. I'm like, ooh, that was a weird frame. Or, oh, why they choose that part of the direction? But to, honestly, that's one of those things. It's like really it's like to each their own. Some people are going to fuck with it. Some people are not going to fuck with it. We can all agree that I don't. And I don't really like saying this. Once you turn your brain off, as in once you start thinking that uh, Eminence and Shadow is like every other Izakai or it's like every other power fantasy, once you accept that it is a massive goof where Sid just say shit and it happens to be true or like he just says shit and they misconstrue what he says so it happens to be right. Once you just let go of the fact that he's supposed to be quote unquote a capable and knowledgeable MC, it's actually fucking hilarious. I think me personally, when I watched it, I think I spent the first two or three episodes like, what the fuck is going on here? I was like, I don't get it. Why is this supposed to be funny? Like, like, is he like, what is he doing? It's like, is he not know what the fuck's going on? And then you're like, that's the goof. That's the goof. He's so insanely overpowered that it doesn't matter if he knows what's going on or not. He's just kind of acting and moving. And because he's such a force of nature in of itself, it really doesn't matter what's actually going on in the world or what's going on in the story. He has the ability to either break it up, save it, negate it, destroy it, fix it, create it, whatever needs to be done. 
I think it's funny that he is, I, the, my favorite trope is that he's like, yeah, I'm a mob character by day, so nobody will suspect that I'm also the eminence. Yes, that's the whole point of the show, but I feel like we've seen people like try that trope, but in the trope in a lot of other shows, it just doesn't work out. Everybody figures out who this person is. Or there's always like the one or two people who figures out, oh my God, you're this person, or, oh my God, you're that person. Right now, nobody knows he's the eminence, and he goes so far out of his way to make sure that nobody knows. It's fucking amazing. I personally love that he names his moves. He's like, time to use mob move number 27. The, the the getting too drunk and passing out on the train. That's not a real one, but he does shit like that. And it's so fucking hilarious for no goddamn reason. One of my one of my favorite one of the scenes that really turned me was that they showed it. It was a very first scene. Do I look like the kind of guy that'll do anything for money? And she's like, yes, yes, you do. She's like, now bark for me. And she flips a coin, and then it goes and catches the coin with his fucking mouth. Yo, fucking hilarious. Do you know why it's fucking funny? Because in most shows, the MC has too much pride. He would never do such a thing. Yo, he's just like me for real. If I find a rich girl who wants me to be her fake boyfriend and she's gonna throw money at me, guess what the fuck I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fucking bark for the money. And a lot of y'all be like, no, my Saiyan pride is too strong. I can never do something. Shut the fuck up. You would do it too. You would do it too. You just don't want to admit it. That's okay. I'm not here to judge you. I am judging you though, because you're lying to yourself and you're lying to me. But you would do it. This little the eminence just has so many beautifully hilarious moments. But it, I will say, it really takes a uh, 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 This is one of those animes you have to tell people: do not take it too seriously. Be ready to laugh because it's a lot of gags, but also there's a fire fucking story going on, but it's kind of in the background. And that's the warning I'd give to anybody watching Eminence. Anybody who thinks Eminence is actually a terrible anime clearly hasn't watched it or they're on fucking drugs. Or if you hate Izakais, just fucking say you hit Izakais and then move the fuck on. Go watch a rom-com or something. Eminence in Shadow, I feel like by the time it's done airing its anime, it will go down in the top three of all time. You can't tell me. It is, it's as power fantasy driven as Overlord, as I'll put Tanya up there. What are the power fantasies? Uh, 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 um, 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 Bofuri, where you're just fucking ridiculous OP, but it's right up there with the comedies like Konosuba. And uh, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Con and you know what the worst part is? Comedy animes aren't even, isn't even my favorite fucking category. I think comedy animes aren't always that funny to me, but Konosuba, Fucking hilarious. This show, Eminence, is as funny as Konosuba and has as much power fantasy as Overlord. That's why I started the show with. That's what I'm ending the show with. And scene. I'm done. Listen, I, I, I love... The re other reason Eminence resonates with me so much is because... In my real life, a lot of people don't know I'm a content creator. They don't know I do YouTube, I do Reels, I do Twitch, I do all that stuff. They don't know I do all that shit. They just, they see me at my day office job and I'm like, hey, how's it going? You know, shaking hands, having meetings on fucking appointment business calls. And I leave work and I'm like, ah, I'm directing nasty nigga. And I do this shit. So I feel eminence. I know what it's like to have your mob life and have your eminence life. And there's like little moments of hilarity that like that, that, that fall in between where if you're not living that double life, you, you, won't, you just wouldn't get it. You won't get it. There's something about you never want to be caught. When you're being a mob, you want everybody to believe that you're a mob. When you're being an eminence, you want to be revered as that power that you wield within the world. But you never want both of them to come together. Mm, beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, this Comboli, this nigga, this nigga has my level of comedy. He gets me, bro. He did his his editing, his editing is pretty straightforward. Uh his voice is soothing. He he puts in little sound effects and he's he's funny in a way that I like he's funny. So I'm definitely gonna do more scambolis. Don't forget, uh first thought, uh comment down below what video you think I should do next after this one. Um I, I'm not sold on what I want to do next, so I'm definitely gonna wait to drop this. I'm gonna wait to do another one until I drop this so y'all can so I can kind of see what y'all are thinking in the background. But I'm your man behind the cam. As always, never forget, hey, stay nasty, y'all. Oh, but I'm really fucking shaking, bro.